we were sitting in line for a Starbucks and a woman walked by with this kitten and Brian rolled down the window and said, did you just find that kitten? And she, she said, said yes. And she said, but I don't, I can't keep it. And we said, She said, okay. I don't know anything about taking care of animals. And I said, I will love this baby. I've never had a cat this small. We immediately just made the decision that we were taking that cat and that she was coming home with us. I can't stop crying. Our first stop after the Starbucks was to get formula for her. This was early August in the middle of nowhere, South Carolina. So it's hot. You got a good honey. I was smitten. I was like, I can think of nothing else other than how much I already love this tiny thing. I was not thinking at all about how we were absolutely unprepared. She was less than a pound. We had a little incident a few weeks after Clover was home with us and she had to wear a cast. She needed to be wrapped up in a little baby cast, which was bigger than she was. Ryan doted on her like she was his baby. Watching Brian and Clover's relationship grow from day one was really just amazing to see. We got 10 days with Clover, just her and us, before we introduced her to our other animals. Prior to Clover, he was the ruler of the castle. From day one, Macaroni has been spoiled out of his mind. I think Clover is one of the very first animals that he recognized as truly smaller than he is. He was enthralled. Macaroni, are you stuck in the kitten's mobile? She has so much personality. Good girl! We were thinking, what do you name a cat that you pick up in a Starbucks drive through I started thinking about how lucky that we were in the right place at the right time. We could have stopped anywhere that morning. We figured that having a good four-leaf clover, good luck charm with us at all times would be a perfect name for her. She's become what feels like the missing piece that we didn't even know we were missing. 